Hey, y'all, I am just getting back home. Uh, I was out with the dogs. We were playing ball, and uh, you can probably hear them. They think just because I speak on the phone <laughs> that it's another ball time. No, we just got back from Chucky, and I'm tired, and they need to be tired. <laughs> but hey, I got my, uh, my canister, I guess you would call it, maybe, or the mixing... Uh, apparatus to make wheat, uh, I mean, excuse me, to take wheat berries and to convert it into flour. I'm going to show you real quick uh, because I haven't done it yet. I just got it and I'm going to show you the box it came in. It's there and it just came in uh, by the U.S. Post Office and just dropped it off. Uh, I got my new uh, tamper holder here to put on the Vitamix machine which is just awesome because I'm using it already and uh, and there it is it's a 32 ounce I already poured in some uh, wheat berries in there and uh, I'm gonna put it up here and it goes right there and here's the lid for it and I'm gonna just take this and I'm just gonna attach that onto that unit and Arkham get back this is what I got at Ida's workplace and if I can get a close-up here you can see wheat berries it says uh, Montana uh, wheat berries but it's non GMO and uh, we can get it in bulk so I, I got this $6.35 version that's on the shelves there in her store. Uh, but she gets it in a huge bag and then they bag it like that to sell it in smaller quantities. Um, uh, I want a large quantity. <laughs> so, okay. So they say to start it on low. So I have it on one. I need to turn the machine on. Actually, the on switch is right there. And I am going to turn that on. You see the lights on the machine. You start it. It should turn into wheat. How much I put in there, you know what? I didn't even measure it. I, because it's just a test. Uh, so I can barely... It is printed on the outside. I don't have my reading glasses on. Sorry about that. But I know it's solid there on the machine. And so I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to turn the speed up. They say do it for about a minute, so I'm just watching the clock. Okay, that's it. So I'm going to take this off, bring it over here to the island, and um, shoot. <laughs> I, I need to be able to get the lid off, and I'm holding the camera. Like I said, this is impromptu. This is not professionally filmed. So, ah. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna put you down just for a moment. I got, this is so tacky, I, I do apologize. You're looking at the grate on my, okay, there you go. Okay, there is the wheat berry flour, and I've got some little bowls here. This might be too big because it's not a whole lot. 
but I'm just going to pour a little bit of the and it's sticking I need I would need to get a spatula in there to, to get the rest out but I do apologize again this is just totally impromptu I didn't even rinse the plastic uh, this this mechanism here out just so uh, you know it's just probably a good idea even though it's brand new it looks like it's never been touched by human hands or whatever uh, so I probably won't even use this because it was just experiment but that is the uh, wheat berry and this unit here was I think just like a hundred and three dollars or something like that um, I got it at Amazon Prime and also I got the attachment here to put the the tamp they call it a tamp uh, tampa uh, thing to go in and move things around if they're not moving inside but normally they do move inside this is a 70 uh, 750 series uh, the pearl gray unit that I, I got and uh, they have a fancier version of course that's computerized and is digital but I didn't want to go another hundred to two hundred dollars uh, to get that when this has all the bells and whistles on it okay so anyway there you have thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed it Okay, take care and God bless. Um, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.